Hello viewers, this is signing in Urmesha Potiwala from UrmeshaEduWorld.com and you are watching the video on Prolog programming especially for the beginners. In today's video, I am covering the topic that is on unwinding process. And I wonder that you maybe have come across with this unwinding process in prologging or not. Um, you may have heard or not. Now, that is also a big question. But I would say that unwinding process is actually, there is nothing a process in it. It's just another way of understanding the recursiveness in the prologging. That how the recursive process happens in the prologging. So you can say there's nothing but a recursive process. So how this recursive process happens. So for to make you understand, I have made this video for you. So let's quickly go through that how this unwinding process happens. Or you can say how this recursiveness is going to happen in prologging. So here is an example. It's simply a very short example I have written for you. Uh, and I hope that now you are capable enough of understanding that this whole programming or the example that I have written is a recursive one. In the predicate, I have mentioned one you know, relation of count with an integer as an argument that is passed in it. In the clause, this is count 5 as a fact. Next is a rule sign of count n. With the rule sign states there is in four consecutive lines to be true. If the statements are true, then only this count n will be true. Or you can say the rule will be true. I know I hope you all have know about this. But here there is one point to be keep in mind that this count five makes this whole recursive process as an this count five is a terminating condition for this programming. And to be very precisely, I would say that the value of n should be less than five. That means greater than zero, less than five. So the number of n must be in between this. Otherwise, this whole program will take into you in an infinity loop. And be aware of this, that recursive process always demands a terminating condition. Otherwise, this whole program will never get executed and you will always in, in be in the infinity loop. So, uh, uh, with this precautions enough, so let's start uh, with how the output. So, here in the output, I have written or you can say I have declared is in count 1. And as you s know that as 1 has been passed, so here the value, a capital N, that is a variable N, is bound with a value 1 for a particular definite time. So, to make you understand this recursive process, let's, let's uh, you know, understand that this whole recursiveness is not just in a one stroke you'll get an a answer for that a repeated a recursion is itself means a function that calls again and again or you can say in prologging a clause has been call called or you can say the call has been invoked itself again and again so when you when something has been called again and again this whole database or you can say it will store it in the form of stack and I hope you all have watched my previous videos that is on recursion in which I have explained that how the process has been stored in the form of stack or you can say the clauses to make you understand I have here written uh, function stack so let's see this count one as this value n will be replaced with 1. For this rule sign, I have here stated that count 1 on the stack. Uh, I think you uh, can able to see this on the bottom of the screen. Count 1. So that is the function stack. As the next line, to make this rule true, it's a right operation. And here the process of, you can say, here the process of winding starts so this is called the winding process of winding every of this uh, every of the count or you can say till the terminating condition reach all the whole process is called the winding process so count one is the first process and the winding and this is to be stored on the stack so write as always going to be true so one has been printed as n the value for that time being is one here the nn is uh, value has been incremented it makes the value 2 so count 2 as this count 2 is still not a terminating condition or it's not true so that why that's why it will be on the stack again as count for count 2 it's a winding process the last layer that is you are in the layer is never uh, till it will not print if this count nn is true 
till you have not reached to the terminating condition otherwise so let's see this here and count one two so count two again the right n it will print here two here as the n for that time being the value of n has been replaced with the value called two so n n n plus one so that is three count three as count three is not a terminating condition again it will be stored on the top of the layer of the stack that is count three right operation will not execute as this count n n is still we have not found it's a true or not that means true or false you have to state then only it can move to the next line otherwise it will again here you can say the function that the count predicate is called itself again and again in this whole programming so here count three now the count three rule here again the right operation so right will print n n n plus one so it will make the four count four is still not a terminating condition or you can say that this count four is true or false you still it you are need to state whether it is true or false so right uh, the last line of right will not print count four here the print it will it will print four n plus one it makes the n n value five now count five is now you have reached to the you know climax that count five is a terminating condition so that means this terminating condition is already stated in your database that is count five is a fact and that means it's a true so now the process call unwinding process starts that how it's all unwind so here as the count 5 count n n is replaced with count 5 so count 5 is true so the next line will execute now here you can say that you are in the layer which layer as here is an n so still the value of n is not 5 so you can say here you are in the layer 4 so th here the process of unwinding starts so next you can see that you will print count 4 because it's now count 4 next it will be 2 then again it will be count 1 as this count 1 process is also going to be true so you can say this whole recursiveness or you can say the rule of n is true that's why it will print at the end true See, it's very simple of how this unwinding process happens or you can say how this recursiveness happens so don't get bothered about this unwinding process okay uh, I hope you like this video if you like this video please go and thumbs up and just click on like button and if you want to subscribe my channel for more cool updates you can subscribe and for more details or you can say for more other programming language of knowledge you can visit my blog too that is on ormishadeuworld.blogspot.in thank you very much stay tuned with me for more of these updates thank you very much for watching this this is signing off ormishapotiwala thank you